Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and we're gonna do our tutorial for the tree eater, the dual tree eater. Uh, it's gonna be like a tutorial madness weekend. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I pumped out three tutorials this weekend there. It's pretty good. So, this area, um, I shrunk it by one, and I shrunk it by one in length and two in width. Um, reason why as I just took one out of the sand pushing area and um, for this side of the circuit here you can build it in the wall because as you can see it's only like six blocks one two three four five six yeah six blocks that are in that whole line so you could just have those oh, excuse me yeah in the wall and you will save on a little bit of space so uh, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There you go, so 11 by 17, and depth wise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this is like your 7th, but um, as you can see, they're in the floor, so you don't have to dig any farther than six down, really. So, really, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Alright, so we'll start with this puppy now. Uh, from in this corner or that corner over there, uh, you can go one, two, three, four, five. But one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm just going to grab a brick here. Go up one, destroy it. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Grab some normal pistons. And we'll just flip it around like this. So you got one pushing up, one pushing that way. Same thing on this side. Alright. So now we're just going to go up here like so. Make sure you are properly aligned to go two, three, four, five, six. You can get rid of these now. And we'll do the same on the other side. Just get it over and done with. And one, two, three. <clears throat> now, this is going to be your top part of the circuitry of your floor, so we're not going to want to see any of that. Gonna make sure that it's all hidden up and looks as nice as possible. So you're gonna need a torch and a repeater, some dust. We'll do the same on this side and get it over and done with. Torch and a repeater. There you go. Now we'll start with our blue circuitry. Now we'll start on this side. Uh, you can do it on either side. It doesn't matter which side you want to start on. So from the second one here. As long as like it's reversed in the end, I'll show you what I mean. So on the second one, go down one, one over, and one, two, and three, and down two, and over one. So here we're going to do like a, an R latch. Have it set for the bottom. And then off this block here, you want a torch. And then we're going to put a sticky piston facing us like this. And one, two over, and one, two down. Then you can get rid of these three here. And plop one into the ground if you want. Oops. And make this kind of a shape right here like this. So we got this going on. I want to put a torch, a repeater facing the torch on two ticks play. This one facing outside of the torch, away from it, sorry, piece of dust. Then we're going to go like this. So that's one, two, in one, one, two, three, that's four, five, and up one like this. Put a piece of dust here, two repeaters, this one on three, and all kinds of dust there. And on the, just right beside this torch, you just want to, oops, put a line of blocks and a line of dust. And that's going to control your pusher system for that side. 
Now we're going to do the dirt and unpowering of the system. So you're going to want to, oops, one down, one, two, three, one up. You're going to want to come down like this, swing across, go like that, and up like that. Then you can come back down and delete that block there. <clears throat> so off of this line here, you got a repeater, a repeater. This one's on three. One right here on three. And your dust, you want one piece there, a piece there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Swing around this side. You want to put a torch here and a torch here. Put a block there, there, and there. Get rid of that one. I'll just put a block here for now. Put a sticky piston on top there and a sticky piston right there. And here you can put a piece of dust and here a repeater on no delay. Um, from underneath the torch that you got going on right there, you want to put one down and another one down. And swing back up here, put a torch there and a repeater here. So when this block that I'm going to put later on there comes over here, it's going to unpower that. So when the sand goes up, it's not ticking anything else off. So. So that's the blue circuitry done. Now let's go do the yellow one. So, like I said, remember how the noise latch is on this side? Well, we want to do it on the opposite side. So if you would have started the blue circuitry over here, or even on that side, well, you would have started on the opposite. Anyways. Um, so, coming off the second one, come down one, and out three, down two, and out one. Do that. Uh, torch here torch here, dust there, and the top. Come on this side, put a torch, put a sticky piston, go two out, and two down, get rid of these two, and over like this, up, and over. So we got that shape again. I'll put a torch there, a repeater there on two tick, a repeater there on two tick, and a piece of dust here. Go out one, in one, two, three, four, five, up one, over one, and destroy that block. Put a piece of dust, repeater, repeater, on three tick delay, like this. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. So like this, and add your dust on the top. <clears throat> so important that it stops at the piston here, and it doesn't touch this one, or this line here. But it's got to stop there. I'm not sure if it would actually do anything, but it, who knows. You never know. Redstone is so fidgety nowadays. Um, so now we're gonna do the dirt and the power on the other side here. So one down, one over, one, two, three, four, one up, one in, swing around, one there, up, get rid of that block, and get rid of that block. So we can put some dust here, there, a repeater, a repeater on three tick delay, another on three tick delay, come down under, put a torch here, a torch there, uh, go like this, put a block here, here and here, here, get rid of that one, put our sticky piston here, sticky piston there, dust, a repeater, then underneath that torch, a block, down again like this and you want to put a torch here and a repeater there so now it's the dirt and the power removal from both now we're gonna work on the turning everything off so I want you to do some red block so right in front of this piston go right above the dust up one like this Put a lever, power it, and then put a repeater. And in front of this repeater, go one, two, one, two, and one, two. So make a two by three. Oop. 
on, dust, 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 and dust. <clears throat> we can get rid of that block there and put a repeater on four tick delay. Then at the end of this line right here, want to put a torch. Go down one. Oh, come on, down one more. Go one on two over. All right. So now we'll put a piece of dust, piece of dust, a repeater. Now we're gonna talk about that line in a second here. And on top of the torch here, or the dust, beside the block, which is there, you know. <laughs> wow, total brain fart loss. Alright, so we put a piece of dust here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six repeaters going into a red block with a oop, torch on top. There, and that's going to reset the nor latch to stop your, uh, your clock. <clears throat> so, from up here now, this is the section I wanted to talk about that was in the wall. Okay, so like right here, you know, I want to go up from that repeater, up one, and go one, two, three, up one, and down one like this. <clears throat> then you're going to put a piece of dust, repeater, 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 piece of dust, okay. And then swing on inside right here, so just off the piece of dust, you want to put a block here, a block there, and right off the side of the dust there, put a block there. So here we're going to need a repeater on three tick delay. And you want to put a torch here and here. There we go. So that's going to reset the dirt every time the sand is gone. And when the sand is gone, it's also going to reset the nor latch, saying, okay, I'm done, and remove the block from the, the timer. So now let's go do that on the other side here. So same thing as the other side, in front of the piston, put a block, one up. Oh, my lever is here, turn it on. Uh, put a repeater, then do your 2 by three again. Put some dust here. Get rid of that block there. And put a repeater on four tick delay. And you want to put a torch off of that. Come down two. Over one and like that. Get rid of that block there. Put a torch. Piece of dust here, here and a repeater and that's that same line I was talking about that was in the wall so um, a piece of dust here here are six repeaters going into a block with a torch on top and that's going to reset reset of that nor latch so same thing on this side you're going to put in your piece of dust repeaters and a piece of dust and swing it back on the inside. Uh, I guess I could use that right there too. Eh? Go like this. And then up one. Yeah, I was, got confused there for a second. Is that right? So, repeater on three. And torch with a torch there. So, that's that in a nutshell. Now let's put in our power blocks and our dirt. So that's going to get replaced for dirt. And that's going to be my power blocks. So one of these are going to be set to run. And one of these are going to be set off. So that one's going to be set to run. So the power is on, dirt's in place. This one's going to be the opposite. Um, the power's going to be off and the dirt is going to be back here. So now let's put in our sand. <clears throat> now I tried this before we gotta start one off there otherwise you're gonna break the sand uh, break the machine. Um, yeah so we'll come straight across so that way the whole thing's full except for that one that's in there. Then. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, from here, you're going to want to go 12 up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, it's very important that you put your piston pushers in before you even try this thing because you will break the darn thing. Um, yeah, you will break it. So let's try it and see what happens. Everything should work. Uh, no, sorry. I forgot these two down here. It wouldn't have worked. So don't forget these two pistons down here too. Those are your power for your clock. Will look kind of silly there. So there we go. Test trial number one. So far, so good. Everything's going up. Block gets pushed. And everything stops. That goes there. So, essentially, if you would have had another block there, it would have pushed out this piston here, destroying that redstone dust. So if you have that problem, it's because either you put your piston pushers not high enough, or you filled up that entire row so be careful when you do that you can have some serious problems like that <clears throat> um, for growing wise let's see what this puppy can do uh, I want to try a spruce and a jungle tree in here everything else I know will grow so we'll do this Alright, so we'll start with our spruce tree. Hmm, no spruce. Very disappointing, very disappointing. So, but, I knew that before we did it. I just wanted to see if it changed. And our jungle tree, boom, we got a jungle tree. <clears throat> so that's it everybody. That is the tutorial for the dual tree eater. And like I said, it does three out of four pieces of wood. So I hope you all enjoy it, and take care, and peace everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.